is easily recognized around the globe. For almost 50 years, he's found a way to make the world laugh. Shalom! Every Thursday night for eight years, Americans gathered around their TV sets laughing at the hilarity of Cliff Huxtable. <laughs> but these days, Bill Cosby has shifted his focus from what makes us laugh to what ought to make us cry, the state of public schools in America. He spoke with us by phone for an hour-long exclusive interview ahead of his visit to Birmingham Saturday. Cosby says it's past time for parents to step up. Our neighborhood, our responsibility. Our schools, our responsibility. Our children, our responsibility. His charge is unapologetically aimed specifically at African-American parents. Cosby says the failing scores, apathetic attitude of some, and lack of resources are simply inexcusable. As long as our children get an inferior education, all of their dreams, all of their desires will also probably be inferior thinking. Cosby argues the system is broken. Standardized testing in its form encourages cheating, and the education system is set up for the poor to fail. But if anything is to change, he says parents ought to be banging down the doors of every teacher, principal, superintendent, and school board member in their communities. There are schools where kids really don't have books. How can you call that a school? But where are the parents to raise sand? Eight years ago, Cosby realized he ought to be part of the solution. He decided he would pay to send four poverty-stricken men from Springfield, Massachusetts to Hampton University. Four years later, Lauren Wilder and Wesley White graduated from the historically black college. All of us were in the same position. We grew up in, you know, uh, these neighborhoods you know, got shot at, got, you know, drugs all over the place, but I didn't, I didn't want to go that route. Lauren and Wesley are the anomaly in their hometown. Of the 600 students who started with them in the ninth grade, only four graduated, less than 1%. Lauren is now applying to Florida A&M University for law school. Wesley works as a correctional officer, and each day he looks into the faces of other black men whose lives took the opposite path. It's definitely a reminder, and, you know, I, I can't, uh, tell you how blessed I am to have had the opportunity to to uh, to go to college and to better myself, and you know, just to have that that self motivation, that self drive that I knew I wanted better for myself. Mm -hmm. So so I so I kept fighting. In paying for their education, Dr. Cosby demanded excellence and a 3.0 grade average. To just go through and say uh, I'm going to graduate, uh, thank you, Lottie. Uh, you, you know, you're just happy to be getting yeah. out of there, but when you graduate soon, cum, and all of that, then there's a different thought. It's an example of the success Cosby says is possible for all American children. Yeah. He knows their struggle well. I was 23 some years old when I woke up enough to, and to be so thankful to enter Temple University. He enrolled in all remedial classes, but kept fighting. Cosby went on to earn a Ph.D. in education, more than a dozen honorary degrees, and an unparalleled career in comedy. I am your father. I brought you in this world, and I'll take you out. <laughs> he is a source of inspiration for countless young Americans, and the reason Lauren and Wesley say their fight isn't over.